Welcome to our YouTube channel Engineer Choice Tutor. Today we are going to learn a new subject that is microprocessor. So what is microprocessor? As the name suggests, it comprises of two words that is micro and second one is processor. So what is micro? Micro is basically the size, size of the component that is 10 to power minus 6. The size will be 10 to power minus 6 and the element means the component what will be the component there are millions of component that are fabricated on a single chip means a single chip will be like that on that many register many capacitor are there present okay and what do you mean by the second word the processor processor means to execute whatever we are giving as an input whatever you are giving as an input it will execute according to it and it will perform or produce an output so coming towards the definition part of the microprocessor, if anyone asks us, what do you mean by microprocessor or define the microprocessor? So it is an electronic device that read binary instruction. As we know that it is a simple electronic device and computer only knows the binary instruction means it understands zero and one only. From a storage device means memory. Okay. As an input, it will take input and process it will take input process this input as a data with some instruction means some instruction we will add accordingly that what desired output we want according to that we will add some instruction and it will produce an output so or in a simple word we can say this microprocessor is a digital device okay on a chip means on a single chip this is a digital device that can fetch instructions means whatever ex instruction we will put or transfer it will fetch it and execute them all the instruction and given output simple okay whatever now i told that microprocessor contains millions of tiny components means very small parts means 10 to power up to 10 to power minus 6 okay the, the size of the components like what will be the our component the component will be transistor resistor diode and they all will work together simultaneously to perform a desired output that is the definition of microprocessor so now we will move ahead to the block diagram of microprocessor see here we are feeding the input okay this is our this is our what this is our microprocessor this center one is the microprocessor okay and it will produce the output here one memory section will be present so it will fed some instruction to the microprocessor coming to the different part what involved in the microprocessor the first one input whatever we have seen so its definition will be it enable computer operator to send data in forms of text images sound or processing in it means input will be in any form either in the form of text abc okay either it will be in some sound okay sound or either it will be in some image okay all thing will be taken as input it will pass this input to the microprocessor in the center what this it comprises of different part that is ALU, control unit and register array. Microprocessor consists of three parts. The first one is ALU. It performs simple arithmetic and logical operation. What do you mean by arithmetic? It means simple as we know that multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. This all comprises of arithmetic and the logical operation like AND or OR operation. After that control unit come to the picture. What control unit do it coordinate the flow of data out of means it coordinate the data flow out of into and between various subunits it will help to flow the data in a particular amount whatever we need as a output that only that amount only it will allow to flow the data okay it regulate the flow of data and turns into series of control signal the data which we fed and whatever the data we fed the control unit will control means or convert this 
all the data into control signal and the another one is register the third one is register array what is that register array it is the fastest memory as we know that register is the fastest memory which hold small data only cache type memory it will hold and it will keep the footprint of the previous data whatever we sent previously means uh, whatever we sent that the small parts of that data will be or the footprint means uh, it will keep the address of the previous one okay and it will be used by the cpu the last one is output okay the output what output will do the desired output in form of text image whatever input we have given just like that we will give uh, we will observe the output and the memory section as just now i told only that memory section will be also there so what memory section will do it keep instruction and according to this instruction microprocessor will work and give output it will take instruction and accordingly to that it will give the output that's all about the microprocessor now coming to the evolution of microprocessor microprocessor that is how means evolution that is based on the size okay so the first generation of microprocessor okay that is only 4 bit it was developed in the year of 1971 the second generation it was of 8 bit it was developed in 1973 and later third fourth fifth we have so it will get added so it will be 16th bit after that 32 bit after that 64 bit these all microprocessors are developed by one company that is intel so that's all about the microprocessor introduction thank you